Hey guys, so I'm actually ready to head out the door. Um, I'm running to a local consignment shop with my mother-in-law. You guys know I love buying things secondhand. Actually, this sweater is secondhand. <laughs> um, I think it's so silly to buy things full price when you can get just as good of things secondhand. So we're gonna go to a local consignment shop, but then after that, we're actually gonna, I'm gonna come home and clean up the house. My biggest goal today is to go through the kids' toy boxes, which is going to be a task. Um, as soon as I get home though, I do wanna throw dinner in the crock pot. I have a crock pot recipe I wanna try out. It's wild rice chicken soup something like that. It looks really good. So I'm going to stick that in the crock pot when I get home because we have to get to the consignment shop in about a half hour. So we want to be there right when it opens because if you're not, then you're not going to get the good stuff. But um, <laughs> uh, that's the plan. And then I'm going to go through their toy boxes. They need some TLC, some organization. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm hoping that I'll still have a little bit of time after that to get the house cleaned up because it's been far too long and my house is disgusting. So that's the plan today. Get it all done sort of video. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm so excited to be sharing my daily life with you guys. So just keep watching if you're in need of some motivation. And if I find some good stuff, I will be sure to share that with you. I actually, I wanted to sit down and talk to you. Let me set this up because it is killing my arm already. And that is what I'm gonna talk to you guys about. All right, so last night, I always sleep with a feather pillow and last night it was in the dryer because I gave it a good washing. I give it a good washing, you know, every now and then. And um, so I didn't sleep with it last night. Well, I woke up this morning with the most god awful kink in my neck. It's so bad it like takes my breath away if I move certain ways. Um, so I went through Paisley's, oh my gosh it hurts, I went through Paisley's um, dresser, like her drawers, you know, with toys in it, her toy box drawers, with my mother-in-law, and we got rid of a bunch of stuff. It's better and organized, and I'll show you guys that. I didn't film it just because she was helping me, and I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable, you know, with a camera in her face. But um, I was going to go through the boys, but I just, I can't. I cannot do it. So actually, Grant's going to come home. He's going to come home and take a nap from my mom's house, and I'm just going to get housework done not gonna mop the floors. I, I don't think I, I literally don't think I could if I tried. I am gonna take some ibuprofen in hopes that it'll help, but then I'm just gonna kinda lay low. Um, I I plan to fold some laundry, so I'm gonna go in the room, put a Hallmark movie on, drink some of my cocoa, or maybe I'll make a coffee. I think I'll make a coffee. I've only had one today so far, and it's already almost one o'clock. It's 12.15, actually, but anyway. I'm gonna get this crock pot dinner in the crock pot. It needs to get put in. I would have loved to like two hours ago, but I couldn't get to it. So I'm gonna turn it on high for a while for four to five hours. And then um, closer to dinner, maybe I'll put it down on low. But I was gonna show you all the ingredients you're gonna need. This is a crock pot long grain rice, like kind of like a soup, I guess. I don't know. I've never had it before. I've never tried it. I found the recipe online and I thought it looked good and I had everything for it. So let me show you what the ingredients are that you're gonna need. All right, so it calls for um, chicken broth. I don't have chicken broth, but I do have the better than bouillon uh, like chicken base. So I'm going to add four teaspoons of this into four cups of water. It's one teaspoon to every cup. So I'm going to do that. And this is hot water. I put it in the microwave. I'm going to dice up an onion. And then you pour this and the seasoning into the crock pot. And there's heavy whipping cream in the recipe as well as chicken and then some carrots. I will film me making it because I'm honestly not sure the like how you're supposed to put it all in. So we'll do that together. All right, guys. So you're literally just going to pour everything into the crock pot except for the heavy cream. The heavy cream you're going to wait until later on and you're going to add that. A little before you're ready to eat, probably about a half hour before you're ready to eat, you're just gonna slowly stir that into the mix. And um, I also forgot to mention you're gonna add some butter. I added about half of a stick. I really didn't measure the butter or the heavy cream. I just kind of mixed it in until it looked right. And I'm telling you, it was absolutely amazing. I'll show you what it looked like later on. Sounds like a barrel of fun. Let's just have our Christmas of our own. A Christmas of our own. Let's forget about the world outside and disconnect. Our 
this is what my afternoon looks like since I am in utter pain. So I figured I would use my time wisely and get a video edited for y'all. Um, I've got all of that laundry to put away when Grant wakes up from his nap, but we're just gonna wait till the cyberbrofen kicks in and get to work on a video. Well guys, my house smells amazing. This soup is going to be so good, I just know it. But now we're gonna go ahead and take the chicken out and cut it into like little cubes and then put it back in, let it cook for probably about another hour and then we will add the heavy cream in the crock pot and then let that kind of do its thing. Christmas of our own With no big choir singing Carolyn and church bells ringing Let's just have a Christmas of our own Christmas tree. I just love it when we're together with garlands, bows, and ribbons. It's as pretty as can be. Oh, so pretty. We'll make ourselves some ginger. Now, here's a little laundry motivation for you guys. I always say a load a day keeps the laundry mountain away, and I truly believe that. So, let's get a load switched over. Here's your reminder to go and switch a load if you're in need of doing so and to stay on top of that laundry mountain. Let's forget about the world outside and disconnect our telephone. All right, so the mountain is slowly but surely <laughs> dwindling away thankfully I know I always say a load a day keeps the laundry mountain away but when you're just so busy it's so hard to stay on top of it but I am getting there we are getting there together here is dinner all finished I made some biscuits and we used the Landa Lakes honey butter on top it was so delicious this soup is definitely a new staple in the house and I will for sure be making it again what you doing honey don't look so thrilled. Trying it. Test driving After a year, test, test driving, driving it out. Car. You look good. All right, guys, getting into some fresh, clean sheets. I'm gonna call it a night. The kids are all in bed, and we are right there behind him. I got Vlogmas Day 3 up for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. You should have already seen it if you're watching this one. Um, if you have not, then I'll leave it in the cards here. I think here. Or is it here? I don't know. I'll leave it there. <laughs> but um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to join us here on YouTube and all the fun Vlogmas memories we're going to make throughout the month. And anyway... I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.